Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to my new series on how to make zodiac rings. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. So what you're going to need for this project is a ring cone, your jewelry pliers, and for this one I'm going to use 20 gauge a copper wire that I bought at Michaels, but you can use a slightly thicker gauge, 18 gauge, if you if your wire is kind of soft, you want it to be sturdy enough. So the Leo ring is also quite simple. We're going to start with our wire and then we want to start by making the little loop on the left side. So you want to leave enough to go around the finger. We're just going to go ahead and make our loop with our larger round pliers. So this will be our starting point. And then there's like a little loop here. So we're going to hold it with our larger round pliers like that. And then this, I guess that's supposed to be like a little bit of a tail thing going on. We're going to go ahead and form that. And then you want it to go around your finger so the band is like sort of in a semi uh, symmetrical place like the same on both sides. So we're going to push that one over like that. Okay. And there's your symbol, super easy. And then we're going to hold it on the ring form at about whatever your size is. And this one seems to be in a higher position so we're going to push that to the back. And then this one I'll make the non-adjustable one. So we want to hold it on the ring form. This is going to be at the front and then centered at the back of the ring form. We're going to bend one end up at a right angle and then hold it in place and then take the other end and just bend it around there. We're just basically tying the two ends together and then bend that one back. Okay. And after that, we're just going to get our cutters and cut it here. And be sure to check the other videos in the series of the zodiac signs. Uh, if you've missed any little stages or you need any clarifications about the designs, um, I might have forgotten to mention some things in this video, but you could definitely see them in the other videos. So this basically you just kind of pinch them so there's no pokey ends. And then as always, you put it back on the ring form to adjust the size. So there's the Leo ring, the one that's not adjustable. And then the adjustable ones, basically, instead of tying the, the ends together, you just do a loop loop and there you have your adjustable ones. So if you're doing the adjustable one, use a slightly thicker uh, wire, stronger wire. And then this one is the fixed ring. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art creations, be sure to join my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, where we share photos of our work and get inspired by members of the group. And if you'd like to check out our Etsy shop, we make all kinds of custom wire art and jewelry on Etsy. And also, if you'd like to learn more about wire art and jewelry making, I have an online course where I teach all kinds of cool techniques, including how to make your own templates, how to make flattened bookmarks, and how to make really cool spiral beads. Thanks for watching.